When one examines the biblical text in regards to Solomon's temple, and the biblical text is the only location to go because the biblical text is, is the text by which all other descriptions of the temple are described. And all other descriptions are based on someone else's read of the original biblical text. So go to the biblical text. In a unique form, the biblical text in 1 Kings 6 demonstrates we have a rectangular temple, 20 cubits wide by 60 cubits long by 30 cubits high. Meanwhile, if you shift to Nehemiah and Ezra, the rebuild of the temple, the rebuild of the temple that took place during the time of Darius is 60 cubits by 60 cubits. The temple built by Darius, the Persian, on behalf of the Israelite people was a square temple, 60 cubits by 60 cubits. The original temple built by Solomon was a rectangular temple, 20 cubits by 60 cubits. It's in the Bible. Look it up. This means that the first Kings 6 temple is the first temple. Nehemiah's temple is the second. If you follow theology, and what is taught in Israel today, the temple on the, believed to be at the Temple Mount, Herod's temple is temple number two. That is obviously wrong. We have two temples in the Bible, and the temple of Herod in modern day Jerusalem is temple number three. Every commentary that says anything other is wrong. Arguably wrong, check it out. The first temple is in 1 Kings 6, the second temple is described in Nehemiah as a square temple that's almost three times larger than the first. The third temple is in modern-day Jerusalem. You might call it Palestine. And it's purportedly at the Temple Mount, but that's never been proved. We'll show you where these temples are, how to find them, and how to recognize them. Stay tuned. Go to the website.